Yesterday, a new skills training and research center was opened at the St. Francis Community Developers Compound in Port Morant. Renata Court reports. The handing over ceremony of the new Skills Training Resource Center was held yesterday at the St. Francis Community Developers Japanese Hall. In February of 2018, the People and Government of Japan, through its Grant Assistance for Grassroots Human Security Projects GGP, donated a sum of $19,240,000 for the construction of the Skills Training Resource Center. Mr. Alex Foster, president of the St. Francis Community Developers, stated that the need for this venture became visible and critical for the development of economic growth when St. Francis expanded its mandate in the field of agriculture. The goal was to support the largest source of employment for residents in our region by offering technical support, equipment, modern technique to solve traditional challenges that plagued our farmers, farmers on a daily basis. It will also offer opportunity for our youths to participate while offering other avenues of income as they seek to make themselves job ready through the creation of several byproducts. The biggest issue at hand was the fact that residents did not have exposure to training opportunity to reverse the present reality. So St. Francis, in collaboration now with the Ministry of Agriculture, and we have added on board the FAO representing the United Nations family. The Honorable Minister within the Ministry of Agriculture with responsibility for rural affairs, Honorable Valerie Adams Yearwood, in her presentation, outlined the importance of agro-processing in today's economy. Agro-processing continues to play a major role in the efforts to cut back on spoilage. The agro-processing industry in Ghana has grown tremendously over the past four years, contributing greatly to Guyana's annual GDP. The Ministry of Agriculture has been advocating for the development of the sector by offering technical support to the Guyana School of Agriculture and the new Guyana Marketing Corporation to new and seasoned agro-processors to ensure their products are of a standard where they can compete on the local, regional, and international markets. Second Secretary of the Japan Embassy, Mr. Toshihide Kanayo, then spoke on the significance of partnership and collaboration. This type of partnership and collaboration represents the beautiful harmony of a number of uh, partnerships and organizations who come together and work together to make the community and society a better place. This partnership also reminds me of the proverb saying that the, if we want to go fast, go alone, but the, if we want to go far, go together. I would like to say thank you for all of you who are together with the completion of this amazing project. Thank you. Following the program, Mr. Kanaya along with Mr. Foster unveiled the building's plaque after declaring it officially opened. This project is part of St. Francis's flagship venture in education, empowerment and sustainability project rescue, which is an acronym for reforming education skills and capacity for ultimate empowerment. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Renato Kurt.